everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the enrollment wizard and the enrollment checklist feature. This feature is helpful and will save you time when entering in the guardian and the child's details into Kidsoft. To use the enrollment wizard, you can click on your family's menu and under the enrollments heading, click on enrollment wizard. This allows you to enter in guardian number one's details, so the account holder that's claiming the CCS, and it will allow you to enter in the child's details, the details that allows you to essentially submit a session to CCS. If the guardian is already existing in your service, in the drop down box, select the guardian's name. This will then allow you to enter in the child's details only. If it's a new guardian, you need to complete at least the mandatory fields. If you wish to enable the iParent portal and iCheckIn for the guardian, when you tick these options, the email and mobile number become mandatory. You complete the guardian's address, the child's details, you need to complete the mandatory fields. You need to select an enrollment type. If you are selecting a CWA, so a complying written arrangement, you need to select the defined enrollment. So this is where you're going to create the CCS enrollment. So you would select the approval, the session indicator, the start date, etc. Just like you would in, in Kidsoft under the Enrollments tab. If you have selected the routine or both, you will need to click on the Define Routine Bookings and create the booking pattern. Once those details have been completed, you can click Save. If you would like to add additional children to that guardian, you can simply click Add Child. So once you've completed all of those mandatory fields and you click save, it will then create that child and guardians record in Kidsoft and will allow you to add in the auxiliary data. So data like the immunization, medical conditions, emergency contacts, etc., they will not be created using the enrollment wizard. If you would like the enrollment checklist enabled, please contact the Kidsoft customer success team and we will have that enabled. Once enabled, under your Kidsoft settings and clicking on enrollment tab and scrolling down to the enrollment checklist, this allows you to add and remove specific checklist items. The process of the enrollment checklist is on the home screen it will display a guardian or a child if they're missing one of the applicable items off the checklist. So when you click on the child or guardian's name, it will take you to the enrollment checklist. You can see that this particular guardian is missing a address. You can either tick not applicable and it will remove off the enrollment checklist or you can simply click on open tab and it's going to take you to that applicable child or guardian's record to complete that missing item. You can also view your enrollment checklist by clicking on the families menu and under enrollments, click on enrollment checklists. This allows you to search by specific child or guardian. For further information on either the enrollment wizard or the enrollment checklist, please do not hesitate to reach out to the Kidsoft customer success team. You may also like to look at our additional video tutorials in our YouTube channel for more tips on Kidsoft. Thank you.